I'm Laura Revis and I'm a registered dietitian with Cone Health. Today we're going to talk about what's in your shopping cart. So we're going to do a grocery store tour, talk about what to eat, how to shop. So get ready, let's go. So when we first come into any typical grocery store, the very first place that we're going to see is the produce section. It makes it easy because that's where you're going to get all of your fresh fruits and vegetables, which is really the foundation of your good diet anyways. Now a lot of times we might choose something that's um, canned, um, and that's not necessarily bad, but fresh is really the best because it's going to have more fiber, more nutrients, and you can do more stuff with it. So here we've got all kinds of great colors. You might have heard the expression, eat your colors. Well, that's because every different type of fruit and vegetable has a different color. Now I hear you, we're busy, okay? So what's awesome is that, you know, a lot of places will have their produce already cut up, already washed, already prepared. So on a, you know, a busy Monday night, all we gotta do is throw it in. It's really, really quick and easy. Or if you wanna do um, something like a salad, that stuff is already bagged, so you can have your bagged vegetables, your bagged salad, and that's something easy too, as well. So here we are um, in the fresh meat section. Meat is going to be a great source of protein, um, but we want to choose a lean protein. So when we're talking about our ground meats, all right, um, it can be really confusing because we got all these numbers on it. So we've got this 85% here, we've got an 80% here. What does it mean? This is the percent lean meat versus the percent fat. So you want to choose a meat that has the high, uh, the first number being the largest. That's going to mean it's more lean and less fat. So I'm going to choose this 96% right here. Now, if you are avoiding red meat for heart reasons, then you can certainly choose a ground turkey. Um, ground turkey is great. I use it all the time, substitute things out. It tastes exactly like ground beef. Um, but this is ground um, combined turkey, so it's the dark meat and the white meat. If you want to use the absolute leanest, then you would choose this ground turkey breast. Um, now that is gonna be recommended for cooking with, with heat, uh, moist heat rather than dry heat, just because it is a little bit drier. If you're gonna do juice, we wanna do a 100% juice. One of these simply limeades or lemonade like this or 100% um, tropical fruit juice, like orange juice like this. And how you know is if the first ingredient is 100% juice. Let's talk salty snacks, because let's face it, that's something that we're all gonna crave. Now, when you think about reaching for those potato chips, maybe we look to the other side of the aisle and choose something a little bit healthier. We've got popcorn over here, and popcorn is a great source of whole grains. The whole kernel is a great source of fiber, so that's gonna give you some staying power. But while we wouldn't wanna choose something extra butter, we might wanna choose a lower fat, so that's gonna give you the same um, great taste, same salty flavor, but that's not gonna have that butter on your waistline. Now, not all fats are bad, though. When we're talking about heart-healthy fats, nuts are a great source of nutrition because they give us protein, they give us minerals, and they give us those heart-healthy fats that are actually gonna help protect you and lower your risk of heart disease. We got some confusing options with nuts, though. We've got these really sweet ones that have extra sugar and chocolate. We've got ones that have lots of salt on them. And we want to kind of stay away from both of those extra seasoned nuts and stick to something a little bit more simpler, something that's just roasted, low salt, so it's got protein, it's got minerals, it's got everything you need. Here we are on the bread aisle, and unfortunately, bread has gotten a bad name lately in uh, lieu of all the low-carb diets and things like that, but bread is actually a great source of nutrition if we choose the right one. It can be really confusing, I know, so we're gonna kinda stay away from the bagels here because bagels, though delicious, are very, very starchy and actually provide way more carbohydrates than we need in one sitting. So we're just gonna skate down here to a nice, healthy, multi-grain bread. It can be a little confusing, but the best way to know is check the ingredients. 100% whole grains. Who doesn't love sweets? I know I do, and it's hard to stay away. So we don't necessarily want to avoid sweets totally, but we do want to make healthier choices. So when you're looking at something sweet, we want to come kind of down here to the bottom where you see the graham crackers, animal cookies, nilla wafers. Those kinds of things are going to be um, lower in uh, sugars and lower in fats. They're not going to have as many of the chocolate chips or things like that in it. So that's going to be a much healthier option when you do have those sweet cravings. I said earlier that fresh vegetables are going to be the healthiest, 
But let's face it, fresh vegetables aren't always in season and sometimes they can be a little bit more expensive. So there is a time and a place for frozen vegetables. Now that can be confusing as well, because you see down here, we've got these vegetables in a cream sauce and a cheesy sauce, cauliflower and a cheese sauce. That's not only gonna add extra fat, gonna add extra sodium as well. So what we wanna choose are something like here, where it's just the actual vegetable, no sauce, no salt. That way you can season it your own way and it's gonna be more nutritious. Let's talk about butter. Do we choose butter? Do we choose margarine? Which healthiest? Butter is a saturated fat. It's made from um, milk, which is an animal product. So too much saturated fat can actually increase your risk for heart disease. So we do want to limit the actual butter. Now your other option is margarine, which is actually a trans fat, which is artificial and our bodies don't really know how to process that very well. So it actually we want to completely stay away from your trans fat. The best option would be something like Smart Balance that is a vegetable oil based spread. It's made with olive oil, contains omega-3s, which are actually heart healthy. All right, let's talk a little bit about wine. Actually, red wine contains a phytonutrient called resveratrol that research shows is actually heart protective and can lower your risk of cancer. So go ahead, pour yourself a glass. I hope this has made healthy shopping for you a little bit easier. If you still have additional questions, ask your doctor about a referral to Cone Health Nutrition and Diabetes Management Center or go online to conehealth.com. As for me, I'm gonna go home and cook.